Hey, we got a great one verse today. It comes out of Acts chapter one and verse eight. Jesus is speaking here and this verse is amazing. It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. There's a couple things going on in this verse that we'll get to quickly. First of all, Jesus lays it out clearly that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. He's talking to the disciples before he goes back up into heaven. And so they don't know the Holy Spirit yet. They've always had Jesus with them, so they didn't need the Spirit. But once Jesus left the earth, he sent the Holy Spirit to comfort, he's literally known as the Comforter, to comfort uh, his church, Christians, believers. And not only that, he tells us that the Holy Spirit gives us power. Now, ever since then, anyone who's accepted Christ is, quote unquote, saved as many times it's said. Um, if you were a believer in Jesus and what he did on the cross and you put your faith in him, then the Holy Spirit comes into you and you have the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, uh, it helps us do amazing things. It gives us boldness to speak the name of Christ and to share our faith. It, it's a beautiful thing. So you have the boldness and the strength and the power, the same power that created the earth dwells in you through the Holy Spirit. The next part of the verse lays out several areas or cities um, and, and, and it sort of starts small and goes out. And many people use this as a great verse for a strategy for missions within the church, that you start in your town, in your city, and you just keep reaching further and further and further with the message of Christ. Uh, one term that's kind of thrown ar around today is the term glocal. You probably never even heard that. But what it means in some churches is that, is that we want to be global and we also want to be locally minded, that we would reach the people around us in our city with the message of Christ, but that we would also reach out to the world. So I hope that that's how you're living at your faith at your church today. Have a great day and go live in his power.